Have you ever wished that your favorite video game kind of existed in the real world? Well, our next guest raced the latest Need for Speed video game in real life on a closed desert course with zero visibility. Let's meet these lucky guys. Welcome Theo Thomas, a Need for Speed influencer, and Luke Woodham, a professional drift driver who both had the opportunity to put their skills to the test. Fellas, thanks so much for being with me. Thank you for having us. Well, I've got to hear about uh, this challenge, what it was like to do this drive. Tell me what this is all about. So yeah, basically I got the phone call from Castro um, to come and have a go at this once in a lifetime opportunity to drive a Ford Mustang with uh, like a gaming third eye view. So for me, obviously being a, a professional race driver, it was a complete attack on my senses and what I'm actually used to. So I had to pinch myself to remember that, you know, we were in this real car because it was so, it was like being in the game. It was, it was basically what it was being in Need for Speed game, um, which yeah, which was so much fun. So for me, yeah, it's fantastic. Well, I feel like we just saw your facial expressions while you're in the car, so I feel like that speaks volumes. But Theo, what was it like uh, doing this versus kind of the, the game? So normally, uh, I'm just sat in my room kind of playing the game. and it, You get this third eye view that we had, uh, but when, when you jump into a real car and you do it, and at first it's scarily similar. It feels pretty much like it does in the game because you get the view of that. And uh, then you hit a bump in the road, and then you realize, no, it, it's, it's a real car. I should probably be a little bit more careful, um, but it's a crazy experience. Well, like I said, your facial expressions definitely showed how you guys were feeling, <laughs> and you, you're right. You feel the real bump. That's a real road. That's real life. So, oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Luke, what was it kind of like that experience of putting kind of like your other skills and, and instincts into this, I guess? Yeah, so it was a whole different mix of driving yeah. um, thrown into the mix to, to to kind of take the challenge on. Um, obviously, the car worked amazingly. We had the cash oil in there, which was fantastic. It kept me cool. I was great, you know, working with the car and the crew was fantastic. So, um, but yeah, a complete attack on the senses to work out kind of what was going on, to have a screen, you know, it's in front of your face and to realise that it is actually real. You know, it was only when you had to change gear in the car that you were like, Okay, well, I mean, it's actually in a real car. So, yeah, I can't wait to see, you know, how this kind of moves on and what's going to become, you know, the future, how close gaming and driving has kind of come so similar. It's, uh, it's scary, but very exciting. Very exciting and scary. I think those are two really good words to kind of put together with all of this. <laughs> uh, and we're mentioning uh, the Castro Edge that's happening in Boston. What are you going to be doing there? So uh, people are going to be able to go up on stage and uh, compete and pretty much do the, the trial similar to how we did it, but in Need for Speed. And uh, we're gonna be there and we're gonna be talking with people and uh, discussing how it was to be part of Titanium Gamer uh, and, and just conversating with, say, people that subscribe to me, people that follow Luke. And uh, yeah, it's just gonna be a bunch of fun. Well, I'm sure a lot of people, like you said, people that follow you guys, gamers, people that are uh, that love the Need for Speed uh, are gonna love that opportunity in Boston. You guys, thank you so yeah. much for telling me about this. Thanks for having Thank us. Thank you. Don't go anywhere. The Morning Blood, we're going to be right back.